we begin with the process of uh, ultrafiltration which takes place in the glomerulus the glomerulus is made up of a number of uh, capillaries but the most important point to remember is that the afferent arteriole is wider while the efferent arteriole is narrower this creates a very high pressure in the glomerular capillaries and this is further explained by the picture of the hose pipe which you can see is that by narrowing the lumen of the hose pipe or pressing on it you are able to increase the pressure as we go further along the pressure results in the fluid in the capillaries to filter out into the bowman's capsule till the fluid was inside the capillaries it was called plasma now once it's in the bowman's capsule it's called glomerular filtrate the glomerular capillaries are surrounded by a basement membrane which is shown in green and the brown layer is made up of cells which is called podocyte cells and as we look at the details of it the capillaries have a lot of pores in them and this allows fluid to pass but the basement membrane prevents red blood cells and plasma proteins from passing out the cells the podocyte cells are very different in structure and they support the glomerular capillaries this is a model of the uh, visceral layer of the glomerulus which is made up of this pink which you can see is the one cell thick wall of the capillary which is made up of a number of pores and it's got all these pores in it which allow all the water and solutes to pass out but the basement membrane is what is preventing it is preventing the red blood cells and the plasma proteins to leak out and surrounding it is this is the cells of the podocyte which sort of enclose it and what you see here is these are the arms of the podocyte and this is the filtration slit which you can see and this surrounds this capillary and supports it the video clip shows how a model of this area depicts the structure of the glomerulus the pores in the capillary allow the fluid to pass but the basement membrane prevents it similarly the podocyte cells are very different in structure is that there is a nucleus it's a cell so it has to have a nucleus then it has arms which wrap around the capillary and support the capillary so when you look at it only a section of it you can see these little structures which are labeled as arms of the podocyte and in between the arms of the podocyte are the filtration slits which allow all this fluid which is under a lot of pressure to enter the bowman's capsule as the glomerular filtrate now trickles down it is going to pass through the pct the pct is the area where the maximum volume is going to be reabsorbed the cells lining the pct are very well adapted for their function there is the lumen side of these cells and there is the basal side of these cells the lumen side is thrown into folds and this increases the surface area immensely the efferent arteriole then divides into capillaries and these capillaries surround the pct now on the basal side of these cells 
there are sodium potassium pumps these sodium potassium pumps are very important in pumping out three sodium ions out of the cell and two potassium ions are pumped into the cell this of course causes a decrease in concentration of sodium inside the cell this concentration gradient helps in sodium ions diffusing from the lumen into the cell and then into the blood but while the sodium ion diffuses in it also co-transports glucose along with it into the cell and into the capillary the blood flow in the capillary carries these molecules away now when sodium enters glucose also accompanies it so this is a form of co-transport and when this results in a higher concentration inside the cell water follows by osmosis moves into the cell and into the capillary the blood flow carrying it away the sodium potassium pump as you can see pumps three sodium out of the cell and two potassium in and the mnemonic to remember it is very evident 